Trayvon Martin verdict came out, I think one thing that really, as I was thinking, as I, as I attended the Justice for Trayvon rallies, is I thought that this could not have happened to me. And when I was 17, if I was in my neighborhood, it would not have happened to me. And that's when I realized like, this has to stop. We have to kill this bill. We have to stop this thing you're going to build. It also reminded me of uh, a quote that we learned from John Powell when he came in. He said, uh, who belongs in the circle of human concern? Who belongs in that circle? And in America, that circle, we define that circle as citizenship. And who's in and who's out is actually a critical thing in this country. It's one it's something that we fought for, it's what we defend. And right now we're in a massive campaign uh, to bring citizenship to 11 million aspiring Americans, people who I believe, people who are faith traditions, and I'm Roman Catholic, people who Catholics believe belong as a part of that circle of human concern. And in this country, we have, we're taking away uh, families. We're tearing them apart in lots of ways. One of them, though, is deportations and, and what we're doing with those movements. So I've asked two, two brave kids to come on up. They're members of Church of Our Savior uh, to share their stories and uh, just talk about what, what this path of citizenship means. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ayo Kwek Mendes, and I am 12 years old. I can be. I can't really speak about the seven families that are getting deported. Two years ago, when I was 10 years old, my dad got deported, and we moved here from Georgia because my mom was afraid that immigration was going to come back to our home. Before my dad was deported, he taught me how to ride a bike and how to play soccer, and we really miss him. That's why we need immigration reform now, so families can be torn apart. Thank you.